guys, Dr. Seamus with Immuna Health here, and let's talk a little bit about sleep in this video and really just why it's important and how we can maximize getting a good night's sleep. And I think this is going to benefit so many people, this information presented here, because there are just a lot of people who struggle with getting a sound night's sleep, and it can really massively affect their life in the next day and just overall health, productivity, mood, and so many things. And so, we know that sleep is so important because this is when repair mechanisms are initiated in the body. And it just gives the body a chance to really rejuvenate and recalibrate from the day. And we can see that this allows inflammation to go down, stress levels go down. There can be better memory and alertness, better heart health, even better weight control. And there are just so many benefits of sleep overall. So let's jump into some things we can employ the start of the night or even just throughout the day to maximize a good night's sleep and i would say one thing is that the body likes habit right and so going to bed at a routine regular time every night i'd say maybe ideally between about 10 to 11 p.m and trying to strive for about seven to nine hours of sleep would be optimal <clears throat> And just really having an environment in your room where it's dark, there's not a lot of artificial light creeping in, and where even about an hour before sleep, either powering down electronics or um, trying to just limit that blue light exposure in some way. I know a lot of people are using the blue light limiting glasses, and those can be beneficial as well, just to try to not have any interruption in melatonin production or the circadian rhythm at night. And it's going to be beneficial to limit caffeine intake, obviously, through the evening time. And I would say even after 2 p.m. in the afternoon would be a, a good time to call it quits at about there so that we don't have any interference because that can stay in the system for a good six to eight hours. And then even at night, too, I think it's a great idea to read before night or before bed or even just writing out a gratitude list is a great way to orient the mind on positivity and not, you know, having the mind in a negative space, which can just um, create more toxic stress and issues in that regard. Um, as far as herbs go, things like valerian and kava can be great, as well as just adaptogenic herbs to help with sleep. And even uh, essential oils, lavender is a great essential oil to diffuse and have some aromatherapy there to just, it's a calmer and that can be great to diffuse before going to bed. And then one last thing I'd like to mention too is just fluid intake before bed. I wouldn't do anything excessive because obviously then we're just getting up through the night to use the restroom and this can disrupt the sleep cycle. And that goes for any kind of like meal as well. Uh, maybe a little snack an hour before or something could be okay, but just any kind of heavy meal sitting in the stomach is not ideal for creating um, good, proper quality sleep through the night. And so guys, these are just a few protocols I hope you can implement through the day and before you go to bed at night. And I think this is going to allow you to sleep much better, get sound sleep, quality sleep. And again, this is going to allow inflammation and stress levels to reduce in the body, allow for better weight control, better energy, better mood, um, better heart health, better memory, and just ultimately all these benefits that come from a healthy night's sleep. So guys, this has been Dr. Seamus talking about the benefits of sleep and methods to employ as to how to get the best possible sleep. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.